In the world of gold rush, machinery breakdowns become a contentious issue. Each team operates under tight time constraints to extract as much gold as possible from their dig sites. Even a brief period of downtime can spell the difference between profitability and failure. This raises the question of whether these teams should adopt a slower pace to reduce the frequency of repairs. Reddit user u slash mvsopen subscribes to this school of thought, suggesting, on all the gold rush shows, they always push the shaker deck and water pumps to their limits in order to process more dirt through the plant. Is this a prudent business strategy? While increased production yields more dirt through the plant, it also exacts a heavier toll on the machinery in terms of wear and tear. This perspective holds merit, as it underscores the limitations of mining equipment. It appears that individuals with real-world mining experience have joined the Reddit conversation, including you slash Rob Fraud, who offers insight. In actual mining operations, we often run at near-maximum capacity to maximize tonnage. We also have dedicated mechanics, spare parts inventories, and personnel tasked with scheduling and planning shutdowns for efficient maintenance. However, the full-throttle approach seen on Gold Rush and its spin-offs is likely driven by the need for captivating television. Parker Schnabel, Tony Beats, and the show's principal cast members possess extensive experience in the mining industry. They presumably understand the maintenance requirements to keep their machinery operational for extended periods. Consequently, many Reddit fans speculate that occasional servicing takes place off-camera. Nevertheless, preventative maintenance lacks the cinematic appeal that reality shows like Gold Rush Drive On. Such shows often employ scripted moments and editing techniques to maintain viewer interest. Reddit users familiar with mining equipment and practices believe that crews on Gold Rush do perform maintenance, but they also acknowledge the dramatic allure of showcasing full-throttle operations and the tension that results from potential breakdowns. For example, u slash trash 97 suggests, it's hard to believe that major operations like Beats and Schnabels would operate differently. All operations experience downtime during cleanouts, shift changes, and before slash after shifts, even if they're not running 24 slash 7. They further argue that showing this downtime could provide viewers with a deeper understanding of the complexities of large-scale mining operations. However, the constraints of episode length often lead to a focus on conflicts and machine breakdowns to maintain viewer engagement.